As it turns out, there are quite a few people in Harney County, good citizens of America, who don't even realize that they're supporting criminals. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about uh, these people in public office, these public servants who work in federal jobs, specifically the ones who are stealing ranches away from Americans and, and giving it to uh, people like Hillary to sell to the Russians. We're going to talk about these criminals today. And it turns out that they're not even, they're not even teaching this document anymore in the public schools. The Constitution of the United States of America, not even being taught in the schools today, apparently, because nobody's really familiar with uh, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. That's why the Bundy Militia is in Harney County. See, this document I'm about ready to show you here, we're going we're gonna to scroll on down to Section 8. This document I'm going to show you that apparently is no longer taught in the public schools. This is the document why Ammon Bundy is in Harney County trying to get the Hammond family out of prison because the Hammond family was put in prison so the federal government mafia could steal their ranch and sell it to Russian uranium miners. And it, a and I guess the people in Harney County don't even realize that their, their leaders are criminals. So we're going to go into it. So this is the document that Ammon Bundy and his supporters have been talking about. And since Americans are not familiar with this document, I'm going to make a little video and just give you a little reminder course. This is just a little refresher course, if you might. So you go to Section 8. And you count down 17 lines down to Clause 17. See, you just count down. Count down to 17, and we're going to get to the clause that says, in very clear language, that if you're going to, if the government, if the federal government is going to buy land or take control of land in the state, they need to get consent of the legislator of the state in which they're buying the land. It says right here, the authority, it says really cl very clearly here, the authority to purchase the land, you need to get consent of the legislator of the state. And of course, this is only for things like forts, military bases, uh, magazines would be a, a term for military uh, building, arsenals, dockyards, these are buildings that you need to defend the United States of America. That's all this document gives. This document, and this is a really, really great document that our founding fathers gave us, that people like Obama are stamping on and burning, and, it, and apparently uh, we need a little refresher course. That this, the greatest document ever drawn up by our founding fathers, does not give the federal government authority to kick the ranchers off the land, put them in prison, and sell their land to a Russian miner. I mean, anybody who wants to go that far is delusional. I mean, delusional. I mean, I'll really, really clearly think about it. This document, the Constitution, does not give the BLM and Judge Grasty the authority to put the Hammond family in prison, steal their land away from them, steal their ranch away from them, and give it to a Russian miner. I mean, what is this? Is this communism? Is this fascism? No. This is clearly a federal mafia. So when we say the BLM is a terrorist group, we're not joking here, people. We're not joking. This is the document that your founding fathers wrote for you. Now, please, take this as a refresher course and wake up, please. 